Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video. It is going to be another update in my rolling project 10 pan for 2021. Quick note, I am in a huge rush. I should basically be walking out the door for work right now, but I really wanted to film before work today because I had a little extra time to get ready. And then I diddy doddled like I always do. Does anyone else have a problem with diddy doddling in time? I am late to everything, but I wasn't gonna waste a full face of makeup and not get this filmed so I haven't weighed anything so I will be get like I'll be showing you guys progress throughout this video and then I'll just have to post the weights over here and the weight change will be a surprise to me while I'm editing so just throwing that out there but if you're interested in seeing my progress including two uh two oh my gosh I'm like in a rush can you tell two um this is scary two project no Two items. I should edit that out because that's so embarrassing, but that was like major brain fog. Anyway, if you can hear my dog chewing his bone as well, I apologize. There will be two products we will be rolling out, and if you guys are interested, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you love project painting content, or you just like to chit chat about makeup, I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, you guys, let's get into this update. Okay, I'm gonna start with, I think, the least exciting progress, and it is my Tarte Parte blush. So there is pan in this, but I think I only used this one or two times this last month. I recently moved all of my makeup from my vanity over to this side into my desk over here. I have a problem with having to like constantly feng shui. It drives everyone in my life crazy, but I felt like it was a better situation if my makeup was over here because I can fit more stuff. I was outgrowing this space, but I accidentally left my blush in my vanity, my older vanity. So I only got a couple of uses out of this. My goal still is going to be as of this moment in time to use, try and use this blush up this year. I do think this will be something that's in the project the majority of the year, but that is my progress on that. I feel like my dog is like more aggressively than usual chewing his bone. Next up we have my Fenty Sunstalker bronzer. So my goal this year is to hit pan on four different bronzers and then start circling around and trying to use up those bronzers. So I did hit pan on my Ilia bronzer earlier this year and still no pan yet in my Fenty bronzer. I was really lazy about using this the last six weeks or so. However, the last week or so I have been trying to put this into like my everyday routine. It is a little bit light for me when I have a self tan, but I have been layering this with my Hourglass Luminous Light Bronzer to try and get both youth out of, to try and get use out of both of those bronzers because the Hourglass one is going in my whole collection project pan. And in fact, I do have the two layered today. I'm very bronzed. I am very bronzed today. I understand that. Work is going to be a little bit embarrassing, but whatever. I love to be bronzed. I do feel like I can see like the imprint, the rings potentially just a little bit of the pan. So I feel like if I just consistently use this this next month, I could have pan on this and we could be rolling this one out to the next update. My Kosas concealer, my Sad Kosas concealer. So my cap finally did break and now I have tape over it to like keep this enclosed. It's a whole ordeal. I honestly should just declutter this and buy another one, but I am not gonna do that. I'm gonna keep chugging away at this. So I had about half the product when I rolled this in last update. That was about where I was estimating I was at. And now I'm estimating I'm about here. I do use this pretty consistently every single day. Lately I've been mi mixing this and my Oma Beauty Wide Awake Concealer just because this is a little bit too light and the Oma Beauty is a little bit too dark and they make a really great mixture. I'm hoping I can finish this within a couple of months. That is something I would repurchase. I do really enjoy that concealer. Um, another product I rolled in the last update was the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. This is one of my oldest foundations currently in my collection. However, I do love this foundation. I have mine in the shade 202, which is too light for me when I have a self tan, but I've been mixing this almost every day with a foundation that's a little bit darker, and I love the look because this adds a little bit of glow. So when I rolled this in, I was about here, and now I am to about the halfway mark. So I think I probably have two to three months left still of consistent use with this, but I am very confident I will be able to finish that hopefully by like mm, June or July. This eyeshadow primer 
is gonna take me all year. And I thought I was gonna get through this really quickly. I've heard so many people say that these eyeshadow primers from Urban Decay are really tough to get through and they last forever. And when I started using mine, I was like, I feel like I'm already like halfway through mine. Like I don't understand, I'm gonna fly through this. But I've been making very slow but steady progress, but I feel like there's just so much product left in this and you need so little of this to put on your eyes that I just truly feel like this is gonna take me through the end of the year, but that's okay. This is something that I don't personally think I could see myself repurchasing. I just, I find that this is very easy to go too heavy handed with and then it makes my eyes look a little bit crepey, look a little bit older, look a little bit drier. And I am one of the weirdos that likes the KVD Beauty like shake primer. I know that that's a pretty unpopular opinion but I actually really like that primer. My dog is being so obnoxious. Um, so in the future, I think I would go with the KVD primer or try new eyeshadow primers because we all know I love to test new products. Um, and then I next up have my Charlotte Tilbury mini pillow talk lipstick. This is how much we have left. And when I post a picture of the line movements, you'll see I've moved just a little bit. It's really tough for me with my lipsticks. I feel like I wear mine down at such a point that it's like I see no progress until I get to the very end and then it goes really quickly. I've used this as a cream blush and I actually feel like I did wear this quite a bit the last month. Again, for some reason, I just wear mine to such a point that visibly you don't see a lot of progress until the end, but I have a feeling a couple more months of consistent use with this and I could finish this up. I would love to finish a lipstick, whether it be mini, large, or like full size, whatever it might be. I wanna finish a lot of lipsticks this year because I'm really bad at using up lip products, but I've been really good at finishing up like lip oils and lip glosses so far this year. So I would like to continue my uh, lip product success and carry that over to the lipstick category. Next up we have my Touch and Soul no, no Pore Blum Primer. So when I rolled this in, I had a lot of this left. I am currently working on another primer that is pore filling, but I have been focusing my efforts on this one because I would just like to finish this up and get this out of my collection. As you can tell, we've made really good progress throughout the year. I am currently right here, so I feel like one to two more months. I wanna say I could finish this by the next update, but I feel like it could potentially be two more months. I'd be really happy if I could just have this done by the next update because I feel like my primer collection is so large. You guys know I love to test new, new primers, but I've been using this so much trying to finish it and I'm just ready to be done with that. So fingers crossed, next update, we'll get to roll in a new primer. And then I also rolled in this Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand, the last update. This is in the shade Peach Gasm. And I made a little bit of progress. I didn't use this a ton. I kind of forgot about this, but with a little bit of effort, I feel like I could have this done by the end of the summer. I kind of want to, I don't want to use this just to use this. I want to be pretty intentional with this because I love this in the summertime. So I'm very excited to reach for it in the summer. I will repurchase this when I rebuy it, but it would be awesome if I could get this to last me through the summer and then I could hold off on repurchasing it until next summer because I don't reach for this as often in the winter time. So that brings me to, oh, that brings me to this, which is another liquid blush. This is the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. I have mine in the shade Wine Glow, and I made pretty decent progress since the beginning of the project, but I believe when I rolled this in, I said I was gonna focus on this for the winter months, and then I might roll in a different cream blush in its place, just because this is more of a winter shade, um, and I am going to do that. So that is going to be one of my rollouts. I'll show you guys just kind of what I mean. It's just a little bit deeper and not something, not really a shade that I reach for as often this time of year. Although as you can tell, you can really sheer this out, but I am ready to put this away and actually pull in my Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. I purchased this towards the, towards the end of last summer and I feel like I really have not gotten a lot of use out of this. And I have been loving my cream and liquid products, so I want to show this some love, so I figured putting it in this project would be a great way for me to get some use out of this. And it's just a really beautiful coral shade. I think it's gonna be so stunning for the springtime. So I don't necessarily know if my goal will be to finish this. I think maybe this will be something that I keep in the project for three months and potentially roll it out when we reach like the end of summer towards the fall, but this will be a new product in this project 
going forward. And then the 10th and final product that was going in this project that I did finally finish was my Bite Beauty Change Maker uh, powder. So I did repress this and it was a bit of a disaster. So I will say after repressing this, this went really quickly and it just, I did not do a good job of repressing this and that's on me, but I'm really excited to have moved this out of my collection. I do really enjoy this powder. This is a powder I would recommend. However, I have recently been trying the number seven powder, the Lift and Luminate powder um, for the last two months. And that I think retails for either 12 or 14.99. And I think it's just as good, if not better than the Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundation. So going forward, I personally would purchase that if you are like a stan of Bite and you have had your eye on this and you're wondering if it's a good product, I think it's a good product. I personally would just save my money and go with the Lift and Luminate powder from number seven in the future. But because that is done, I'm gonna be rolling in a new product and I've decided not to roll in a new powder just yet. I have a couple of new, newer pressed powders to my collection that I'm currently testing out. And I didn't want to add another pressed powder to the mix to try and be using. So I decided because I don't have a highlighter in this project, or at least not a powder highlight, I'm going to add this one from Milk Makeup. I love this highlight. So this is their pressed highlight in the shade Lit. And it is basically one of my perfect highlight shades. It's this really beautiful champagne shade, but if it hits the light right, it almost has a pink reflect to it. And this is one that can look so wet and intense on the cheeks, or you can really sheer this out. And because it is so finely milled, like I'm telling you this, if you like feeling this powder, it just feels different than a lot of other highlights and a lot of other powders. It almost feels a little bit wet to the touch, because of that, you can really sheer this out and it just looks like this really beautiful lip from within, but this always gets neglected in my collection. So I'm gonna roll this in and I'm gonna give myself a usage goal on this to use this 30 times, 30 times, and then we'll see where we're at. Would I like to hit pan? Yes. Let's see where we're at in 30 uses. Maybe I'll continue going with this, but I don't think I'm working on many other pressed highlights in many other projects either. So I decided to roll this in. I do have the graveyard project pan, which I'm super excited for that will be starting at the end of April. I'm like trying to think of what products I'm going to put in that project, but that is going to wrap it up for today's update in my rolling project 10 pan. If you are currently working on a project pan, I would love to hear how it's going in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you always do. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.